Hi guys. So the markets uh, start to correct, uh, but I think that um, I think it's um, it's not sure um, what direction we will go, uh, and um, but I am selling, of course, um, some cryptos. But not that one. <laughs> but um, I have two different strategies I'm following. Uh, the old strategy, uh, where I approach the markets as an investor and I try to sell uh, at the height of the bull market. And, and so I'm selling uh, some of the coins I bought to make money. Um, but these, I, I don't have affection with these coins. It's diversified portfolios. It's full of coins. Uh, the coins I've been following from uh, Blue Magic um, portfolios and, and some others. And and I'm selling these today. Uh, ICO investments also, um, uh, because I do think uh, there is a very good chance we're gonna see a short but powerful uh, bear market. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, at least go sideways, but that's not a bear market. No, we're gonna, uh, see some <laughs> good sweating. Um, I think Bitcoin can reach, um, the problem is, um, uh, I have conflict, uh, conflicting information. Um, uh, I think this year, indeed, we will see another big bubble in 2018. And so I think half or by the end of the year, we can be in a new mania. But up until then, I think it is very possible that we get a strong correction and where yeah, the cryptocurrency market as a whole goes down from the currently is at 530 billion it peaked out at let's say 750 billion because indeed the information was a little bit wrong with the korean exchanges uh, but but let's say 750 billion and uh, and um and we're now at 550 uh, but i think we can go to i i don't think we're gonna get a full-blown 90 percent correction bear market no uh why because um we only started recently, uh, uh, let's say a half year back or, or, or with overvaluation into the market. And before that, we were at a, a long period of undervaluation. So, um, a, a last period where we had overvaluation uh, in 2012, uh, and, well, let's say 2013 and 2014, well, mm, there um, it took about a year of overvaluation um a year and a half but then we had a year a year and a half undervaluation so so it just started half a year ago so i i don't know these periods seem to take longer also so i think instead of getting because before in 2011 it was only half a year overvaluation half a year undervaluation so uh, the cycles seem to get longer and so i think the next cycle and we just started uh, will be longer than one year and a half overvaluation, maybe two years, three years overvaluation. So um, uh, that means that uh, well, uh, it's not finished uh, the, the 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 bubble. Um, uh, but at the same time, um, this uh, rise uh, since um, uh, well the past uh, two two years has been tremendous and. Uh, certainly parabolic. Uh, the low was three billion uh, um, uh, market cap uh, was three billion of the total market. They went to seven hundred fifty. Now correct to five fifty. But we can easily um, see well uh, go let's say sixty or seventy percent down, uh, and so that means that we're gonna be somewhere well uh, around not five fifty now, but bottoming out maybe around two hundred or three hundred billion. Eh? Uh, and then continue to go up. Um, but of course, uh, market cap, uh, in the meantime, new coins come on the market. You have also inflation. Most coins have more coins coming on the market. So the price per coin will correct stronger uh, than that. Uh, 
Uh, so, 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 I think we can see, like, yeah, you have to pre prepare for losing half and then again half uh, from the peak uh, per coin um, in fiat value. Mm. So, so, so this is very important, um, I think, to, 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 to protect against that. Um, at the same time, as an investor, I would have done much better um, since I started investing in cryptocurrencies to just buy and hold through the cycles. Mm. Uh, and the reason for that is mostly because I've sold too early coins. And, 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 and because you, yeah, and I did again last year, you really underestimate easily how high it can go. And, and, and so trying to time this always, I, for the 99% of investors, leads to selling coins way too soon. So, so, so and, and even when the bear market is there, correct strongly, you can't buy back uh, for the prices you've sold. So, so I'm also applying this strategy now to my, the new coins I bought uh, at the middle of the year, Bitcoin Cash and, and Byteball, I invested considerably more than in that period. And, um, and, and for these coins, I refuse to sell, even though I think it is quite likely they will also correct in fiat value, uh, probably pretty hard. Um, uh, but, um, but I just don't want to do that anymore. Uh, I just don't want to uh, follow that strategy anymore in the future. Uh, and so I want to focus on building out these coins. And that means you can't really be busy with trying to sell on a high and buying back on low because it takes too much energy. And it's also not actually financially as wise a strategy. Uh, because you put so much energy into it and in the end you could have better just buy and hold, hold through the through the bubbles um, and 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 um, but it's not an easy task this is I'm so admire uh, people like Roger Ver and some other people uh, that that are able to 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 do that and to not be focused on the value of their coins uh, when it's going up a lot and then when it's going down a lot eh? no just focus on building out the coin um, and marketing the coin or, or programming the coin or whatever your talent is focus on on getting it adopted i think that's um that's 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 what i want to do with these coins and i don't want to be busy anymore trying to sell it on a high and buy back on a low and that means that um but at the same time of course deep inside of me there's still that investor and i do want to secure profits or lock in profits uh, um, uh, just in case this whole thing goes um, uh, fails, uh, uh, and so that's why I do am a selling. Well, I think I was eighty percent in crypto, but now it has corrected. Of course, so it's probably only seventy-five percent in crypto, or so seventy. And then I'm uh, I'm preparing. Um, I'm busy selling let's say 10, 15% of my portfolio, 20%. And so I will scale, I basically scale down my crypto portfolio from um, 75% exposure to 65 or 60% 60 exposure. Uh, but it means I'm still exposed for the majority of my uh, portfolio to crypto, but uh, it's in coins that I love and that I, uh, even though it will be hard probably see the fiat value, uh, go down a lot of that uh, uh, of these coins uh, and of my investments uh, and of my portfolio but I'm just gonna uh, try to not focus on that but focus on building out the coin and getting it adopted I think that's a, a much better way actually to invest in this market and to make it uh, a success for yourself uh, and the coin so so voila um, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the update. Um, 2018 has started and um, it's uh, going to be very, very interesting to see uh, what's going to happen.